All right, so we're checking out the Newbie Drone Toolkit. This just came out very recently, and they were kind enough to send me a sample to show you guys. And I think they're kind of marketing this as a field repair kit, but honestly, if you're just starting out, um, especially if you're doing like micros and stuff like that, 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 you know, for smaller builds, this is probably going to be all you're going to need in terms of tools. So if you don't have anything and you want to, and you want to get everything that you want to, if you want to get everything you need to basically do drone repairs and builds, this has pretty much everything you need to get started. And, um, yeah, this is pretty awesome. It's a very nice little compact case here. Definitely fit in any bag for travel and uh, materials are really nice. Um, you know, Attention to detail, of course, uh, Newbie Drone is very good at that. And they got these nice little zipper handles with their logo on there in both. And a little lanyard or a little carrying uh, handle here that you can detach if you like. But let's get right into what is in here. And it comes with a ton of stuff. I'm really surprised that they crammed all the stuff in here. Let's go through each of these one by one. So you got your hex drivers, of course. Um, start off with these. You got your two and a half millimeter hex driver. And this is um, pretty solid stuff here. Newbie drone branded, of course. You have a two and a half millimeter. You got a two millimeter and a one and a half millimeter. Then they include a soldering iron here. This is a portable soldering iron. I think it only comes with one tip. So. It's okay. Um, I might you might want to use a smaller one, but this should be um, multi-purpose and should be good for most situations. Battery operated, so there's a um, XT60 adapter and barrel plug adapter that plugs in here, and it looks like it's um, five to twenty-five volts. I'm not exactly sure what the voltage. Oh no, sorry, it's uh, twelve to twenty-four volts there on the voltage range, and it's temp temperature controlled, so. Let's see here, the dial goes from like 200 to, I think that's about 450. And of course, you know, I think that's, I'm not sure if that's Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, you you know, you do want a temperature controlled soldering iron to, to basically adjust the temperature to the proper temperature for whatever you're, you're trying to repair. But this is not quite as nice as the T, I think it's the TX100. I think that's um, a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, but this one will definitely do the job. All right, so moving on, we have a set of precision wire cutters. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. Um, I actually use these really cheap ones here. And these are actually starting to go. So these actually feel way better. It doesn't look like there's any play in the in the end, so it's pretty nice. And then we got this um, Phillips head driver, I think. Yeah, the camera will focus. So this is obviously gonna be for like the whoops and stuff like that, for very tiny screws. And you got a little spinner on the side here, so this is a pretty nice little micro screwdriver. All right, let's see what's inside the zipper pouch here. All right, so we have a set of tweezers to grab small wires and stuff like that. We have some flux, as the flux pen. So this is obviously gonna help for soldering. And then we have some solder, of course. And this stuff here, what is this? It doesn't say if it's like 6040 or 6337. So I have no idea uh, how good this uh, solder is. You got a little stand here for the soldering iron to hold it up so it's not obviously touching the ground and burning stuff in the little sponge there for cleaning the tip. And here is the barrel connector to XD60 adapter for the soldering iron. Let me see. Just plugs in here. And then this end uh, goes to your battery, and since the, what's the voltage range? It's up to 24 volts, so I think, um, I think that will go up to 6S. I don't know exactly the maximum voltage on 6S is. Maybe just a little bit under 6, top, top end of 6S. So 4S, I'd probably go with 4S, and that would totally fine. 
you know, to power up this soldering iron. Yeah, so that's everything that's in the package here. So the whole thing with the case and all the tools is uh, 49 bucks, I think 50 bucks. And you know, that includes this nice soldering iron, which I think, uh, I believe you can pick this up on Amazon by itself. I think it's running like 25 or 30. So overall, it's not pretty bad value considering it got pretty much everything you need to get started with drone builds and drone repairs. And if you need something for out in the field, this will definitely have you covered. Anyway, link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Let me know what you guys think of this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.